Friday night action in National Premier League's Victoria takes us to Kingston Heath for the match between the Bentley Greens and Oakley Cannons. Time is running out for Oakley to catch South Melbourne at the top of the league and a defeat in this game would leave South Melbourne with a chance to seal the title later in the weekend. Bentley was without their prolific striker David Sturton who was opted to trial in Scotland rather than finish the season in Australia. So for Oakley, can they keep the second head-to-head with South Melbourne relevant? It's coming up in a couple of weeks, but they had to take care of business here first. Teo Pelizzeri from the NPL Vic Live commentary team with you for the highlights of this match. Foster takes the free kick short, flicked by Ritz. Wilford is forward, and he's shooting wide. An early 4A forward by the defender, but just across the face of goal. Bray plays it out to the right. Poor pass. Oakley back in possession. Ritz. Pomonte! Oh, spectacular! What a lob from Dean Pomonte! As he swung his left foot at the ball, it didn't look like he hit it perfectly. But I tell you what, if he meant that, it is a moment of true genius. And if he didn't mean it, it's still one of the goals of the season. Nine minutes gone, it's Oakley Cannons 1, Bentley Greens 0, and Dean Pomonte has scored a truly memorable goal. Webster plays a quick one too with DeVries. Now Cardamone. Switches out to the right, De Abreu. Back to Wallace. De Abreu again. Poor pass. Intercepted, Oakley now coming back the other way. Pomonte keeps it in. Now hits a long ball into the attacking half. Foster. Moving it out to the right. Zorich. Foster, time and space, and scores! It's 2-0, and it's coming apart for the Bentley Greens. Foster can celebrate, and Goran Zorich laying off the assist. The Bentley defence really falling asleep here on Nate Foster. All the time in the world to wheel around onto his left and pick out the bottom right corner. And it's that dancing celebration we've come oh so familiar with from Nate Foster. And then very quick to point out Goran Zoric and say thank you very much for the pass. We're not even 15 minutes in and it's Oakley Cannons 2, Bentley Greens 0. Cleared long down the left. Foster battling for the ball. And holds his feet and now skips past another opponent and things are starting to open up for Oakley again. Foster running at Cardamone. Into the area, legged. Penalty. And the Bentley Greens defence isn't happy. But George Lacronidis had no hesitation pointing to the spot. And Oakley has a chance to take a 3-0 lead. Cardamone was snapping at the heels of Nate Foster. Legged him and over he went. Well, make up your own mind on the penalty call. The bottom line is Oakley are going to the spot. Bray heads back to the goal line and now we will have the penalty kick. Here's Pomonte. Left foot. Scores. Low to the bottom left. Bray went the right way but couldn't get down to the ball. It's Oakley Cannons 3, Bentley Greens 0 and we haven't even passed half an hour. Pomonte drove it low and Bray, even though he did go in the right direction, couldn't reach the ball. Well placed penalty from Dean Pomonte. And he's got a double. Corner taken short. Foster at the edge of the area. Squirts a ball through the six yard box. It's a scramble. And turned in by Black. Oakley devastating and Bentley a shambles. 4-0 and we've only played 30 minutes.
There was a bit of bluff before the corner was taken. They did opt for the short corner in the end. Le Cornu was legged. And the last ditch defending from the Bentley Greens, not enough to stop Black from sweeping in the ball. A real genuine scramble in the penalty area. But ultimately, it was Black who was able to find his feet and put the ball in the back of the net. And the Bentley Greens here have got to be careful because this one is starting to get out of control. So now maybe a chance for Bentley to peg one of these four goals back. In comes the corner. McCormick tipped it off the bar. Coming. Webster. 4-1. And Bentley does have a goal. Webster turning it in in the six-yard area after his fellow defender coming. Sent it back into the six-yard box. Persistence pays at the corner for the Bentley Greens, but there's a long way to go. It's Oakley Cannons 4, Bentley Greens 1. Matthews, DeVries, turning onto his left, back to Matthews, good ball, and he sends it wide. So another Bentley corner, in it comes, Honos missed it, De Abreu deflected, and out, Honos was down, but there were enough Oakley bodies there to defend the corner. Bradovich. Foster. Now Pavonte. Switching flanks. Lackage. Keeps it moving. Now a chance for Zorich. Cutting in board. Left footed shot into the side netting. Matthews, Wayne Wallace, back to Matthews, back to Cumming, now to Webster, Webster goes on a venturing run, might fancy a long shot here, and that one just tumbles into the arms of Honos, thrown in, Pomonte, ball cleared away from Foster, bouncing at the top of the area, De Vries is there. He's shouting for handball. And the referee waves play on. It was a long ball. Honos came out of his line. And I tell you what, De Vries has a decent shout there. Has the goalkeeper got away with one? McCormick. Wallace. Back to McCormick. De Abreu. Matthews hits the byline, cross, header, and across the face from DeVries. That's more like the Bentley we know, and it very nearly ended up being a great team goal. Coming. Pilkington. Lacornu wins the ball. Straight back into a 50-50. McCormick. Wallace. Matthews swings in across a chance here for DeVries cleared away danger not averted just yet Wallace keeping the ball at the top of the area Pilkington with a long shot over the bar Great kick from Honos, straight to the feet of Foster. Now he's going for a dash. Leaves it for Zorich. Shot comes in. And Bray down to the ball. Webster. Bentley Green's looking to build down the right. And now, going forward, DeVries, top of the area. Prodding a shot at Honos, he saves it. 
De Abreu blocked away. Zorich with the ball. Now Oakley retaining possession. Clearance is only as far as halfway though. Matthews. Wallace. Turning out of trouble. And now a nutmeg. Wallace on the right. De Abreu. Matthews. Oh, across the face. End to end football. Zorich denied at one end. And then De Abreu, De Vries, and Matthews all having great attempts for the Bentley Greens, trying to find a second goal. It might be 4 1, but the match is still producing some good entertainment here, and the Bentley Greens with some agonizing misses. Coming. Matthews with a 1 2. Webster. High ball. Header. It's going to work out for De Vries. No, Honos bats it away and then swoops onto the ball. Webster. Now a chance at a long shot. That one is straight at Honos. Lukonu. Zorich. Goes onto his left. Looking to go back onto his right. Ball is taken off him. Wallace. Under a bit of pressure. Managing to keep possession down the right. Into a one on two. Turns away. Squares the ball. Pilkington. Into the area. McCormick. Straight at Honos. And he holds the ball. Matthews. Zorich takes away the ball. Ritz. Big crunching challenge from Cumming. Ritz remains down. Now another challenge coming in from Cumming. Out for a throw. And Ariel Ritz is showing the stud marks here to the referee and to his teammates. A big physical challenge and he's livid that there wasn't a booking. So a chance to peg one of the goals back. The full-time whistle is only moments away. Here's the corner. Header over the bar. And it is bet with the full-time whistle. It's all over here at Kingston Heath. Oakley Cannons 4, Bentley Greens 1. The scoring was done by the 37-minute mark. But an enterprising second half still gave us plenty of entertaining football.